Hi, in this motion picture I will be teaching you the basics of JavaScript. Now the first thing that you need to know is your, or first thing that you need to do is your start function. This is your manager, I guess you, you could call it, your general manager. It's What it's going to do is it's going to run everything, it's going to bring everything into one, kind of like like a bunch of wires if you tie them together with a cable tie something like that and another thing is variables now what variables do is they define something or set it equal to something so for example you could do var which is what you always want to do with variables this is if you're defining a variable you always want to say var and then the name of your variable so you could do like var1 or var box or var I don't know var Jeremy anything you want to name it except you can't name it numbers like this you can't do that you, it has to be like a word or phrase I guess and also when naming them if you're saying multiple things like like purple rain you can't you can't do well I mean you could do this but the correct way to do it would be to capitalize the next letter or capitalize the first letter of the next word and that's that's kind of like a rule of thumb that you want to follow so for this I'm going to name it var1 and you can set equal to 1, you could set equal to 5, you could set equal to that number, you could set it equal to anything. You can, so for this, I'm going to set equal to 1. And now what do I do with it? What am, what am I supposed to do with it? Like, I'm going to tell you what you can do with it. You can use this thing, this cool thing called print line. And what this does, if you do print line and then the name of your variable, what you can do is this is going to print out 1 because this equals 1 and you're printing out the name of this. So it prints out 1. And, and another thing that print line can do is it can print text so like if you wanted to say where's Jeremy you could say that and it's going to print out where's Jeremy like that another rule of thumb you want to have is you always want to put semicolons after most of the things you type except for the name of your functions.